okay now let me show you how uh, a url and app based policies are created in a real world so as you can see here uh, there is a policy which says internet access let's click on that so this is uh, a checkpoints way of creating the rules as i said earlier like other products will have different way but ultimately in the back end uh, they achieve the same objective so what it says is basically uh, anyone uh, can access the internet and inappropriate websites the moment they will try to do that it will be dropped and their message will be popped out on their browser that you are not supposed to access these websites okay so you can create those kind of stuff uh, you know uh, create those categories in an organization then there are certain websites which are uncategorized i mean you do not know what they belong to you know and they are they are highly suspicious and most of the organizations will not allow uh, their employees to access those websites because as i as i have explained in the videos that uh, employees when they access some malicious websites there is a very high chance that their machine will be impacted and it can be compromised and one one, one of the machines uh, which is internal uh, once it is compromised there is a very high chance that it can spread from there and like you know, it can do a lot of damage so what organizations will do is they will put this policy it says if it is not uh, categorized i have no idea about it you are not supposed to access or allow it so that way they are trying to safeguard uh, uh, their interest and also their infrastructure the third says http okay that's fine you're trying to access it if it is related to pci uh, at US social security numbers if you see somebody is trying to upload that kind of traffic which contains this data you inform them you basically are asking them why are you trying to you know upload this data onto the internet right that way you're trying to provide some kind of protection similarly as you can see here when people try to access uh, social media again you are trying but uh, you know here it basically this rule says inform them I mean ask them that is it genuine related to their job if they say yeah it is it is related to their job they can go ahead and still access it and uh, you know this is how these organizations particular the, the policy which you see right now they are okay with people accessing youtube or vimo so long as they provide an appropriate answer and since it is getting logged all this uh, response uh, from the users will be recorded for future uh, audit purpose now company can also decide what all the websites which they want to really block it right they can create a list of websites and they can say block so no no one is allowed to access these kind of website so similarly as you can see here organizations will create uh, you know those kind of uh, rule base so as you can say ip based rules the url based rules this is how a protection is provided so why it is important for understand this part of the journey which is very very important otherwise you will just be thinking as a hacker and trying to access it just imagine somebody is using these kind of products unless they make a, a human error it's very very difficult to bypass this kind of security right so so it is very very uh, you know important to understand the defense skills while uh, definitely trying to you know acquire more of uh, hacking or uh, red skills which i i have been telling to all my students it is not necessary that you will start directly from the hacking understand from both the perspective on trying to become a purple like you no know, defense and attack at the same time so third important uh, tool which i discussed in my video is an ips let me show you how does it look like basically click on policies and as you can see here uh, click on the protection side so ips protection list will be displayed here and i'll show you so as you can see here these are all the signatures you know provided uh, by this uh, checkpoint vendor and all these signatures once it is deployed on, sorry once it is deployed on the gateways as you can see here it will be able to prevent it right as you can see here is all prevent so anybody who's trying to access uh, uh, or send malicious data based on these signatures there is no way they will be able to bypass it so this is how ips is able to provide you such a great level of security control to to your organization similarly uh, let's see what other features are available you can create rules like this so for those who believe this is a little complicated which is which is quite obvious for if you are an entry level uh, uh, person who is just trying to understand how security works but what i am trying to demonstrate is the blue side how people protect their infrastructure right and this is the commercial tool so you will see lot of features which is available uh, in this product and many ways you will be able to protect not at layer 3 but layer 4 layer 5 layer 7 you know uh, of the osi model right 
so you can even allow based on the IP address so you can say if, if the United States basically all the IP addresses which belong to the United States you protect and strict policy on that what do you mean by strict policy you can click here view as you can see here uh, let's talk about the antibot it says block and once in a day you should be able to uh, you know demonstrate if somebody is trying to send any malicious uh, uh, trying to access any malicious what is basically once the machine is compromised so so security devices are not only going to provide a preventive measure but also they will take care if some of the machines are compromised they will make sure that when they try to connect any external command center they will be blocked so antibot is basically that feature so in any machine if it is it is compromised because of mail or because of pen drive uh, it will make sure that you will not be able to connect to the command center to, to do more damage. So similarly, if you click on antivirus, as you can see here, so at network level, you will be able to check all these websites through HTTP or HTTP protocol and certain kind of files. If it contains some malware, it will be able to block it. So this is how a particular security uh, product, which is an enterprise grade, works and uh, getting deployed. So just you can imagine the kind of complexities this particular product is bringing on table. So you need to have a very, very good skills, how to manage it, how to configure it, how to troubleshoot it. And that's where a lot of jobs are available in the market for this particular product as well. And you can do certifications on this product and it will help you, uh, you know, to fetch your first job as long as you are, you are very, very thorough in, in managing these firewalls, right? So this is how it is. So good. So what I will do is I will I will show you another product from another vendor and uh, that could be an uh, SIEM tool so that you know how that also product uh, looks like. So that will give you a feel if in, a, in, a, in a real world scenario and definitely in order to acquire that knowledge, you have to go deep into the subject. Okay, so I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.